Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. After the American Revolutionary War, the U.S. government was in serious need of revenue, leading to the establishment of the U.S. Customs Service by the Tariff of 1789, signed by President George Washington. Initially, it aimed to fund the young nation's growth through duties on imports. This service evolved into today's Customs and Border Protection within the Department of Homeland Security. From financing the acquisition of territories like Louisiana and Alaska to building the nation's infrastructure, the Customs Service has played a pivotal role in shaping America. In 2003, it was transformed to further secure America's borders, marking a significant evolution in its mission to protect and serve. As we focus on the historical evolution of U.S. Customs and Border Protection to broader and intricate tapestry of U.S. immigration policy, we touch upon a topic of enduring complexity and debate, immigration beyond the law's bounds. This issue encapsulates not just the individuals who navigate treacherous paths in search of a new beginning, but also the myriad legal and social implications of their presence within the country. Spanning decades, the discussion around unauthorized entry and overstayed welcomes intertwines with America's demographic, economic, and cultural evolution, reflecting a world grappling with the universal challenges of migration, identity, and belonging. Central to this narrative is the rigorous training of Border Patrol agents, a testament to their dedication and the complexities of their mission. Equally compelling is the advanced deployment of helicopters, transforming Border Patrol strategies into high-tech pursuits. These aerial assets not only enhance the capability to monitor and secure vast and rugged terrains, but also symbolize a modern frontier in law enforcement's ongoing battle against illegal crossings and activities. This segment of our exploration not only highlights the technological and tactical advancements in border security, but also sheds light on the relentless efforts to maintain national integrity in the face of persistent challenges. Apart from the skies and lands, our journey takes us to the expansive waters that cradle the United States between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Here, the narrative unfolds into a maritime saga where customs and border protection extends its vigilant gaze beyond terrestrial borders. In a remarkable demonstration of this breadth, CBP law enforcement officers recently achieved a significant interdiction off the coast of Mexico, targeting a Mexican semi-submersible. This operation underscores the multifaceted nature of border security efforts, illustrating how the challenges of safeguarding a nation are not confined to the ground beneath our feet, but also lie in the vast, shifting waters surrounding us. This segment of the story reveals the relentless pursuit of security that transcends environments, showcasing the adaptability and reach of those tasked with protecting the nation's frontiers. From the broad overview of CBP's efforts in the sea, Let's zoom in on the adrenaline pumping operation unfolding on water. The process starts with strategically deploying radar systems along the border, serving as the first line of detection against incoming boats or semi-submersibles attempting to breach U.S. waters. 
Once a potential threat is identified, the scene quickly escalates. Helicopters take to the sky, and high-speed boats slice through the water, both converging in a coordinated response designed to intercept. This intense chase is not just about speed and precision. It's a testament to the rigorous training and technology at the disposal of CBP's air and marine operations. Upon capture, immediate legal actions are initiated if the individual is found with illegal contraband. This sequence of detection, pursuit, and arrest underscores the complex and dynamic nature of maintaining security and enforcing the law on the nation's maritime frontiers. One of the technological marvels at the core of maritime security operations, our focus shifts to a specialized asset that significantly amplifies the effectiveness of border surveillance. The Airborne Early Warning and Long Range Tracker Maritime Patrol Aircraft. Among these, the P-3 Orion stands out. Equipped with cutting-edge radar systems such as the Raytheon AN-APS-115 Maritime Surveillance Radar. And the AN-APS-137D V-5 Inverse Synthetic Aperture Search Radar. These tools extend the radar range far beyond the capabilities of ground-based systems allowing for unparalleled surveillance coverage. With a service ceiling of 28,300 feet and a maximum speed of 411 knots, the P-3 Orion embodies the pinnacle of aerial surveillance technology. Measuring 117 feet in length, with a wingspan of 100 feet and a height of 34 feet, this aircraft is a formidable presence in the sky. CBP's P-3 Orion operations are a critical component of national security, providing an eagle-eyed view over vast maritime areas ensuring that even the most elusive attempts at illegal entry are detected and intercepted. The P-3 aircraft's takeoff signifies the beginning of a mission which combines high technology with high stakes, embodying CBP's commitment to safeguarding the nation's borders from all dimensions. Such sophisticated aircraft systems provide unparalleled situational awareness and surveillance but also result in high operational costs. In response to these financial challenges, a strategic pivot towards more cost-effective solutions has been initiated. Specialized drones have emerged as a vital component in this new era of border security operations. These unmanned aerial vehicles offer a light and economical alternative to traditional aircraft, enabling quick deployment and comprehensive coverage without the hefty price tag. This transition represents a blend of innovation and practicality, 
ensuring that the mission of maintaining national security continues efficiently. It leverages the latest technology to adapt to emerging threats and fiscal constraints. As the narrative shifts from border security to the broader and increasingly pivotal role of drones in national defense, we find these versatile machines taking center stage not just in surveillance, but also in attack and defense strategies worldwide. A remarkable example of this evolution is the ongoing conflict between Ukraine and Russia, where drones have proven to be a game changer on the battlefield. A standout example of drone innovation is from Anduril, a company in the US that makes drones. They've really shown what drones can do with their Altius 700M model. This drone got a lot of attention in September 2023, when they showed a video of it being tested by firing live ammunition. These tests happened in Utah, at a place called the Dugway Proving Ground. The Altius 700M was tested on a target that looked very much like a real BUK M2 air defense system, showing how accurate and powerful it is. The Altius 700M with its 15 kilogram warhead mirrors the potency of an AGM-114 Hellfire anti-tank missile, yet stands out with its remarkable operating range of up to 160 kilometers and the ability to remain airborne for 75 minutes. This drone is not only a testament to technological advancements, but also to strategic versatility, capable of being launched from various platforms, including ground, sea, or air. Building on the legacy of the reconnaissance-focused Altius 600, the Altius 700M enhances Anduril's loitering munition offerings with a more powerful warhead, designed to engage armored targets and infrastructure. Weighing 33 pounds with a munition payload, boasting 75 minutes of flight endurance, multi-domain launch capabilities, and advanced autonomy for coordinated strikes, the Altia 700M represents the forefront of tactical loitering munitions, blending innovation with lethal efficiency in modern warfare. As we conclude today's journey through the multifaceted operations of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection, from its inception post-American Revolutionary War to its critical role in national security and border management today, we've seen how the CBP has evolved to meet the challenges of every era. Through historical insights, we delved into the complex issues of immigration, the rigorous training of Border Patrol agents, and the technological advancements that have redefined border surveillance from land, air, and sea. This is the story of how CBP, from its early days of collecting import duties, has become a cornerstone of national security and border management. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.